During his trip to Indonesia, President Yoon attended a business roundtable where he highlighted the potential of South Korea-Indonesia economic partnership when it comes to electric vehicles and batteries. Multiple deals were signed in areas that include mobility as well as nuclear power plants and key minerals. Our business correspondent Shin ha has the details. South Korea and Indonesia are strengthening economic cooperation for the development of future industries. During Thursday's business roundtable with Indonesia, President Yoon Song yeol emphasized a high potential for cooperation between the two countries and called for active cooperation. In particular, with both countries striving for carbon neutrality, he expressed hopes for stronger economic ties in the field of nuclear power plants to secure a stable energy supply infrastructure while addressing climate and environmental issues. During the meeting, where around 40 representatives from both countries' economic organizations and businesses attended, the two sides struck 16 deals in seven different sectors, including nuclear power plants, mobility and key minerals. The nuclear power plant MOU includes cooperation of information exchange on various nuclear reactors, including small modular reactors, and cooperation on nurturing workforces. Both countries also decided to work closely in mobility operations and establish a production base for electric motorcycles in Indonesia. The country is emerging as an economic partner in terms of supply chains, especially when it comes to key materials for batteries. To create a supply chain for that, they also agreed to cooperate in building a research center for technology development. According to a press release from Seoul's presidential office, the government plans active support for the MOU and aims for tangible results to be seen early. Shin Ayong, Arirang News.